My daughter is going to have a baby in May. Could you talk about good eating and protocols while being pregnant and then after delivery? With my daughter, I was very conventional in eating and vaccination and she had soy for a year. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, soy is very, very acidic, very estrogenic. I don't recommend soy, um, especially in like those baby formulas. Ooh, they, they put a ton of like soy, soy protein, soy oil, a lot of like different like disgusting oils and like they don't even realize that baby formulas should actually be like high and simple easy to digest carbohydrates you know they shouldn't be putting fruit in there maybe some sort of fat but like in the form of like coconut milks or coconut meat or nut milks not you know what i'm saying like healthy plant-based fats but more so it should be more simple simple sugars because i was looking you know i've, I've looked i've research this the chemistry between um you know uh, comparing what they recommend in the form of like you know similac and all those baby formulas that are just chemical uh, it's like a chemical storm in those formulas compared to natural mother's breast milk the natural mother's breast milk the chemistry in there is mostly simple sugars and like little little protein little little fat mostly simple sugars because babies can't handle large amounts of protein or large amounts of fat you know they need the simple sugars to actually regenerate their nervous system to power up their nervous system power up their brain cells that's what's really going to help that that part of the systems grow and that's what babies need for sure during their early years so um yeah that's my take on that um so yeah good eating and protocols while being pregnant and then after delivery okay i'll discuss that uh with my son i had better knowledge and i breastfed and after 18 months i knew better than to let him get vaccinations exactly vaccinations horrible toxicity in those you know so many chemicals that bring the gland function down and in those babies that are born with genetically weak kidneys and adrenals and a genetically weak nervous system you know some babies have actually flatlined sad to say after getting a, a vaccination or like immediately after being born because they literally can't take it this world is so harsh but we see time and time again, babies are being born with genetic weaknesses, even more so than their parents and their parents and their parents, you know, cells are becoming weaker and weaker. And it's because we didn't know about detoxification before having our babies, you know, we just kept on eating the wrong foods. And so, you know, like the long, like the long-term goal or like the biggest vision that I have, I see a lot of human beings in this race taking it upon themselves to rebuild their genetics to make the next uh, generation even stronger because where we're headed at this level of weakness even scientists have predicted it already that human beings will be extinct within like a few hundred years because cancers are on the rise and so many chronic diseases are on the rise you know it's sad i really hope that people um they get with the program at healing their bodies even if they're not like that sick everyone needs to detox and regenerate their genes okay but yeah that's good that uh with your son at least you had a better knowledge and understanding um since i don't since i didn't have a lot of knowledge back then i really want to inform my children so they can make better choices with their offspring okay so when it comes to detoxing while you're pregnant i don't recommend something too severe or like too intense okay so with detoxing like i was saying before the babies are being born very genetically weak so you don't want to go aggressive okay because there's always a chance that especially like if you're using lymphatic formulas i don't recommend the use of any lymphatic formulas during pregnancy Oftentimes, just the diet alone will be enough to detox the mother and the child that she is carrying, you know? So what I recommend is a, just a raw food diet. Just a raw food diet, some fruits, some greens, some avocados, you know, things like that. Maybe if the mom chooses, you know, if she doesn't want to do like an intense detox, she could do some cooked vegetables here and there or cooked soups or things like that. But I don't recommend like fasting 
while pregnant. I don't recommend lymphatic formulas or any formula that has lymph herbs at all while pregnant because lymphatic herbs, they're very pulling, pulling. They pull on the body's weaknesses. And so there's a chance that if the baby is like very weak already, then it can like pull and eject the baby, you know, because that's how nature is. Nature just tries to and strives to get rid of that which is weak just to protect the species, you know, like nature can be harsh, but at the same time, nature can be very loving, you know, if we just follow her rules and live by her laws, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying like, you know, just don't, um, there's always a risk. So just don't risk it, you know, just follow a nice balanced raw diet during pregnancy and the only herbs that I would recommend during pregnancy that would actually benefit the baby would be gland herbs, herbs that focus on the glands. Because like I was saying, babies are being born with genetically weak glands. And that is the most heartbreaking aspect of it. You know, uh, fatigue, body pains, all these things, diabetes, asthmas, all those things, eczemas, the children are suffering with like the age of two, three, you know, it, it's heartbreaking. So I recommend that if you want to have a healthy baby, you can tell this to your, to your children, if they want to have healthy babies, to take something like an adrenal formula while they're pregnant with the baby, you know, or an endocrine formula that will help perk up all the glands. Because when she takes that formula, that's going to help her glands heal, then the baby's glands will also heal while while it's you know being formed which is excellent at the same time i would also recommend something for her kidneys you know the mother's kidneys they need working on because during pregnancy the baby is tied to the mother's lymphatic system okay so anything the mother eats the baby also eats if the mother's creating creating acidosis in the body, the baby is creating acidosis in the body. If the mother's lymphatic system is chronically congested, the baby's lymphatic system will also be chronically congested. All that is tied together. So you want to address those kidneys, start opening up the kidneys. She should be filtering while she's pregnant. Check her urine, you know, she'll want to see that. So there's are, there are certain ways that you can still detox while pregnant, just nothing aggressive, okay? Unless the mother has like a life-threatening illness. If the mom has a life-threatening illness, then that's a completely different story, you know? Then I would recommend, okay, you know, it's like we have to save you, mom, you know? We're talking about like cancers and stuff like that. You have to save the mom because if, if the mom dies, obviously she won't be able to carry the baby anyways, right? So only in those extreme situations would I recommend, um, you know, detoxing um, to that level. But as just a regular mom that's trying to be healthy, um, maybe has like a little few health issues here and there, the raw diet is enough, as well as uh, the herbs that help, you know, uh, strengthen the glands, the kidneys. And then lastly, the biggest issue that we see with women that are pregnant and then they give birth afterwards is the baby leaches a lot of calcium while in the mom's body, you know, while it's growing. And for mothers that have weak parathyroid glands and are already suffering from calcium loss, then that's when we see things like postpartum depression or spider veins or prolapsing. Oh man, like moms, moms with genetically weak parathyroid glands, they go through so much like suffering, so much suffering. I've heard of stories of mothers being unable to walk, like even like a year after giving birth to their child. They're essentially bedridden, you know? They're, they have so many hernias and like uterus prolapsing, bladder prolapsing, colon prolapsing, it's insane. So what I recommend is for her to take a parathyroid formula and then join that with something that is high in nutrition. Something like the superfood blend number two is extremely high in nutrition. All the uh, ingredients in that formula have, you know, things like berries, uh, things like herbs that are packed with calcium, with whole food calcium. And the superfood blend formula is just going to strengthen the mother as well as the baby. The baby will be born intelligent, strong, healthy. So yeah, that's how she should detox, you know. After giving birth, you know, um, only in cases of extreme 
situations, I would say as well, same thing, you know. Um, you can still detox while you're breastfeeding. Just understand that everything that you take in, the baby is also going to be receiving. So you can still be detoxing the baby through the breast milk, you know. So like you're taking kidney herbs, you know, it'll show up in the breast milk. The baby will be taking those kidney herbs through the breast milk, you know. So yeah, just be careful with lymphatic herbs. Be careful with intense fasting. Essentially, it's going to look the same. Just raw foods, balance, and all those formulas that I mentioned. And she should be good. She should be good. And then after um, undergoing breastfeeding, you know, I recommend like not going past two years of age with breastfeeding because nowadays it's like we lose the ability to digest milk by the age of two, if not even before. So like, you know, I've seen like over and over again for the children that I work with through, through clients, a lot of them have very uh, bad livers and liver congestion and sinus congestion. And sometimes, you know, consuming milk, even if it's breast milk, can be really congestive to the sinuses, especially if the mother is unhealthy and her breast milk is acidic and congestive to begin with, maybe through poor diet or, you know, even before that, that can cause a lot of sinus issues in the baby, colic, cradle cap, diarrhea, all those things. Some baby have skin issues, the babies have skin issues and then their liver is congested. They have fungal issues because they're not digesting their foods completely. So it's a big mess. So I would say, you know, just do the best you can in that respect and just realize that you are also detoxing your baby when you are detoxing yourself. Um, after you wean your baby off of breast milk, then you can hit it full force and then you can go after your health completely. But until then, you know, just take that um, balanced approach and you should be good. You should be fantastic. Fantastic, and you should get a lot of healing done in your body anyways because raw foods is really the basis of it all you know it like most of this healing system like the base must always be maintained raw foods alkalinity what are you putting in what are you what chemistry are you ingesting three to four times a day hmm you know we're constantly being in contact with chemistry whether that's the air that we breathe whether that's the emotions that we're feeling, whether that's the thoughts that we tell ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis, the people that we surround ourselves with, what their actions are like, what words they say to us, you know, whether we are exposed to toxins or triggers, things that, you know, lymphatically congested people, they can feel triggers very strongly, things like uh, mold or things like pet dander, you know, mercury, fluoride in the water, aluminum, all these heavy metals, chemtrails, all those things. You have to take all that into consideration when cleaning up your lifestyle. Try and make it as clean and as healthy as possible. And that's why most people, a lot of people are like looking into living somewhere else, you know, that is cleaner. You know, if you live in the city, a lot of people are looking at moving somewhere in the tropics, somewhere that is less stress and also the cleaner air, better fruit quality, you know, the kind of fruit quality that you pick it off of a tree essentially, or was picked the same day because it has that that strong healing vibration still in there, still alive. Fruit is still alive. It hasn't been picked like weeks or months beforehand, like the stuff that you find in the supermarkets. Although you can still heal on those fruits. You know, that's how amazing fruits are, but you definitely see more power in fruit that's picked ripe and like right then and there, definitely, especially for the nervous system and the glands. But, you know, I, I really hope you guys understand like where I'm getting at. Like we just always have to do the best that we possibly can in all of in, in our given situations. At all times, strive to be better, like better than where you currently are now. But at the same time, also be gentle with yourself like you would be gentle with a child. But you would also encourage a child, right? You would encourage a child to learn how to walk or learn how to talk or solve that math problem, you know, or be a good speller or improve their handwriting. You kind of have to be like that with yourself too, you know? So yeah, 
So um, that was a fantastic question. Thank you so much. I've been wanting to address that question, um, but at the same time, I'm like a little reluctant to answer questions when it comes to pregnancy and uh, breastfeeding because people that don't have an understanding on detoxification, they don't have a clue what it is. They like to attack other people, like when they talk about either animals or pets or dogs, you know, or children, like, you know, those two those two uh, living beings, uh, animals and children, they are the most innocent, you know, and they're the ones that need the most care and looking after. So if I start talking about that, you know, I'm always 100% of the time, I know there's going to be one comment out there or dislikes or whatever, because I talk about this subject, but you know, I have to, you know, people ask me the questions, I'm going to talk about it because I know so many of you out there are suffering and the clients that come to me, like whether they're breastfeeding or whether they're pregnant or whether they're trying to heal their children, we heal them right up. We heal them right up. So I'm not hurting anyone at all with the advice that I share. I always share it from a place of complete understanding, knowledge, experience, and compassion, you know? And I really hope that you guys can feel that and feel my authenticity through these videos and know that I'm pretty well versed when it comes to healing the body. So yeah, um, I appreciate that question, of course. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you are all um, going to have a good night or a good day wherever you are in the world and um, know that I care about you and that I know you can heal your body and you will heal your body as long as you say it with certainty and uh, repeat that positivity, that positive statement in your mind, then you will reflect what you are saying to yourself so that you can match that statement through your actions. And then that's when you'll see true change in your life. Okay, so if any of you wanna work with me, if any of this um, is relevant to you and you want to take your health to the next level, if you've been struggling with healing your health issues, all of you guys need to get on that detox path. And if you wanna work with me on one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to www.spirittropicalhealing.com and go to the services tab. On there, you'll find the Master Your Health package. And that's the package that I recommend for all beginners, you know, um, anyone that like needs that full on attention, you know, because with that, I you get the phone call consultation with me i review your eyes iridology report a diet protocol an herbal protocol all the detox tools you need essentially everything you need to get started anything you everything you need to get started to heal all your health issues like that and yeah i just i i really i love working with you guys and seeing you heal up all your health issues so i look forward to working with uh, all of you many of you um like i already have and um yeah Take care, guys. I love you. Bye.